Hey guys, this is Luigi Rocks 2014 bringing you part 8 of New Super Luigi U. Today we're going to be heading into Peach's Castle. Um, I wouldn't say that this is like the final world, but this is like the second to last world in this game. Basically, um, we're going to be rescuing Princess Peach in this video. Um, so, yep, that's what we're going to be doing. Anyway, so, yep, there's not really a whole lot of levels in this world. There's only about maybe six of them we have to go through. Some in which could probably be easy, you know, if you know what you're doing, they're actually not that hard. Like, if you know where all the star coin locations are and all that stuff. Oh yeah, and in this level, this is also the last level with the secret exits, so this is like the final level with the secret exits that we have to go through. So yep, it's hidden through that pipe, and with that, that's your final secret exit for this game. Alright, so... That'll unlock a pathway to the fourth level, which we will not be going to at any time. But we're gonna go back and try to get our third star coin and the normal exit. So, just try to skip through all this crap and then, yeah, there's where the secret exit was at. That was actually one, that, the secret exit was one exit that I think I had to look up at one point. Um, but, other than that, I don't think I had to look up where it was at when I started recording this again, like when I practiced through this world, but yeah, I did practice a little bit of this world, um, but I didn't really get very far, um, the next level that we're about to go through is the level I kept screwing up so many times at, and yes, this is basically where I've had to start doing lots of cuts here. Because a lot of these levels just proved to be nothing but a pain in the ass. Especially this one. This one I was getting absolutely nowhere on. And I just eventually gave up and called it quits. And eventually the time came in for me to actually record. And I just... A lot of these levels... I Most of these levels after this I never really got any chance to practice. So yeah, the next few levels I did pretty terrible at. And the second star coin, I pretty much messed up on trying to get. Basically, the idea is you're supposed to get a Koopa to get it, and I threw that one much too late. And so I wasn't able to get the second star coin, so what did I end up doing? That's right, I ended up dying, so. Um, I got the star coin again the second time. Of course, I didn't show me grabbing it, but you basically get the idea. You throw a Koopa at it, and that's basically how you get it. Or if you have an ice ice flower you can maybe freeze like one of the Goombas and you can throw it at the star coin which I would think is much easier to do I think it's easier just doing it that way anyways now this part here I probably could have gotten a one-up but I was being really impatient and just wanted to get through this level this basically this entire world because it was like four or five o'clock in the morning that I was recording this Yes, I was recording these videos really late at night. Just don't don't bother asking why. I have reasons. I just yeah. But yeah, these videos were recorded really late at night. And again, once I got to this world, I was already at the point now where I just wanted to rush through this as fast as I could, and that's pretty much what I did. So I really wasn't too concerned about how many lives I was losing. I just figured, you know, I'll just recover. I figured I could just recover the amount of lives I lose in the next world, and that's probably what I'm going to be doing. 
Hopefully I can recover most of the ones I lost when we do when I do record Superstar Road. Which as I'm recording the post commentary, I have not recorded the final video yet. Which today is September 1st that I'm recording this video on. Like, as noted um, from part 6, this video and the last two videos, again, were all recorded on August 30th, um, 2019. But, again, you guys probably won't be seeing these videos till much later on. I mean, you'll definitely see them sometime in September, but I just don't know when exactly. Like, I don't have specific dates. Like... You'll know the specific date, like if anyone follows me on Discord, or like adds me on Discord, or joins my server. Some of you guys can easily keep up with when new videos are released. Because I usually try to update you guys on when, when a new video is coming out, like new part, like when the next part of a walkthrough is coming out, or I try to anyways. Sometimes I often forget and the videos end up being, end up going live on short notice. Because I do know that with YouTube's broken um, subscri subscribe system, the notification system, um, I understand it's not easy to get updated when new videos come out. Alright, in this part here I had to do a cut because I died. So I cut back here, got the third star coin. Yep, that was the end of that level. So you might be probably thinking, well, if these levels are really short, why did this video end up being 23 minutes? Well, it's because, you know, we're going to be... Because the reason this video ended up being short is because the last level was the one that proved to be the longest. And no, this is not the last level. This is the second to last level. Um, this level, okay, I did a cut here for two things. One, I died, but the second reason was because I n needed the Joy-Con controllers to to do the, the motion control thing. And with the controller I was using, I couldn't do motion controls because I was using a wired controller to uh, record this video. Honestly, don't even ask like why I got hit cuz I don't even have an answer to that. But yeah, lat one in I think it was like part 6, I think it was that I had mentioned that um that there was a level where you had to use motion controls and all that stuff. This was the level that you have to use motion controls. And since I was using a wired controller, I had to use one of the Joy-Cons that I, that my dad had. So I definitely didn't not enjoy recording this level at all. It was really awkward trying to handle the Joy-Cons. I should have brought my wireless Pro Controller, because I think with that I could have used the motion controls with that one. But yeah, all I had was my wired Pro Controller, and that was about it. So yeah, jump off the bomb, grab the one-up. But yeah, that definitely was not an easy level. Definitely one of the more annoying ones I've ever had to record. Like, I guess if I was still recording this on the Wii U, I guess this wouldn't have been much of a big problem. Since when I did New Super Mario Bros. U, I'd, I'd remember, like... Like, that and New Super Mario Bros. Wii were two games that I'd always play with a Wii, Wii Remote on its side. But since I'm recording the Switch version of New Super Luigi U... Um... Yeah, motion controls just barely weren't much of a thing at that time. But, yeah... I mean, there are still some Switch games where you, I guess you could still use motion controls, but it's not really as much of a thing, since with most of the Switch games, you have the option to use, like, um, like, what is it? You can just use, like, the control stick to, 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 to handle motion controls. This game, you couldn't really do anything like that. And that, again, that ended up being probably one of the more frustrating things was, yeah, the one level where you had to use motion controls. That definitely was not my favorite level to have to go through. 
It was definitely the most frustrating one I ever had to record. But anyways. And in case you guys are wondering, the reason I always like using a wired pro controller more than wireless is because with a wired controller, I don't really have to worry about charging it. All I gotta do is just plug in the the USB port and then get the USB cable in, and that's pretty much all I have to do. Like, there's no no problems with the controller disconnecting or nothing like that. It may not really be as easy to handle as like a wireless pro controller, but it's still pretty much about the same nonetheless. But anyways, with Bowser, you just jump, just run underneath him, activate the switch, and he'll fall in the lava. And yeah, just like the other game, he, he'll come back. You'll see, he'll be coming back. But yep, we got this cutscene here, and then... So here at this part we have we encounter Princess Peach. Yep, she gets trapped. And yeah, this is why I, I chose to have the ice flowers so that way I can get rid of the flames that Bowser throws at that throws at me. basically create a meteor shower of flames and you basically just gotta try to avoid them if you can Yeah, that part was definitely a little bit tricky. I almost didn't think I'd be able to hit him, but I did. So once again, just keep running and avoiding his spinning shell. And here is his next set of flames that we're going to have to try to avoid. I think at, at this part, I think I got hit by one of the flames. I could be wrong, though. Nah, I don't think I did. I think it was one of the... Oh, no, yeah, I did. He pulled a sneak attack on me. Honestly, I can't, I don't even understand how I didn't... How I got hit there. I thought I could just run right underneath that, but I guess I couldn't. So then at this part, just knock him out, and then he's dead. Well, not like dead, but he's been defeated, is what I guess I should say. Alright, but that being said, though, that's pretty much the end of that level. And then next is the ending and credits. Which I may or may not talk much through them.
I mean, I mean, I guess I'll try to if, if I can. Yeah. <laughs> then there's Nabbit on the bottom right. <laughs> yeah, he's certainly enjoying this. <laughs> it just runs off or whatever. But anyways, yep, the little tornado disappears and everything's like back to normal. So, yep. This is basically the ending right here. With Bowser trying to get away and had absolutely no success. <laughs> the airship's just too broken to fly. It's just in no it's just in no condition of flying. What the hell happened to Bowser's um, clown car? Like I noticed, uh, Bowser Jr. has his Koopa clown car, and yet Bowser never had his in this game. Although in New Super Mario Bros. we Bowser Jr. did kind of end up destroying Bowser's Koopa clown car in that one, in a way. Well, I wouldn't even say it was destroyed, but... Honestly, I haven't played that game for so long. I, I forgot if it actually got destroyed or not. But, anyways, here's the credits to this game. And, yeah, I didn't actually really try to grab the coins in, in here, mainly because I... I was just not really in the mood for it. I just wanted to just be done with this world. I was actually hoping to record... Superstar Road, but because of how late it was, I decided, you know, I'll just wait until another time. And I figured if, if I'm lucky, maybe I'll be able to record it at my mom's house. Maybe not. We'll have to see. But yeah, Superstar World hasn't been, like, recorded yet as I'm recording this post-recording. And as I said, I don't know when I'm going to record it record that world. We'll just have to figure out when that'll be. But yeah, this is basically the end credits. Um, I know <laughs> as you guys are going to be watching this, I know it's just going to be really boring since I didn't really do anything here. It's just like one of those things where Luigi wins by doing absolutely nothing. See, I really didn't really didn't give much input during the credits. Like, the only part I did was, like, um, at some point in the recording, the switch actually went, the brightness actually went dim, as you will see, and that was just because my switch was, like, in the process of, it was basically going into, like, it was, like, starting to go into shutdown mode since I wasn't really doing anything on it. <laughs> but, yeah, you'll, you'll see it at some point that, yeah, it went dim. But uh, yeah, I really I don't have no, don't really have much else left to talk about as far as like my next walkthrough goes. I have a couple of games in mind, but the next one I do is not going to be a Mario walkthrough. Um, it, it's either going to be a Sonic walkthrough or a walkthrough I never actually have done on this channel yet at all. Um, so it, it's going to be one of those things. That's for sure. Like, who knows, maybe I'll either do Kirby's, Kirby Superstar Allies, or something like that. Well, actually, no, if I'm going to do Kirby Superstar Allies, I'd rather record Return to Dreamland first on the Wii before I do Superstar Allies. And yeah, this was where the Switch went dim. I thought maybe letting it be on dim would kind of help make things a little better for the recording. Because it looked like the Switch was a little too bright, but... I don't know. Like, it wasn't really like the camera was, like... Like, the focus mode was getting out of control. Because I know there were a few parts of the recording where... 
like there were like some random lines around the TV where it would like do that weird flashing thing. You know, again, I don't know why it would sometimes do that, but yeah, it wasn't really doing much of that during the credits, as far as I see. But, yep, that's pretty much the end of the game right there, the end of the credits. <laughs> but, yep. I wouldn't say that it's the end quite yet. Because, yeah, we've got one more world to record before we're done. So we got one star for beating the game normally. Yep, we can go to a secret island and then. Yep, Superstar Road gets opened up. And yep, we got all the star coins in Peach's Castle. So yeah, Superstar Road, like, in order to play the levels, you have to get all the star coins and stuff, and yep. Basically, we now have all three stars on our save file, and yeah, we're gonna save the game, indicating that we uh, finished it. So before I go to Superstar Road, we're gonna go to the Secret Island, because in this version, it's actually a little bit more different than it is in the Wii U version. Uh, there's a few minor changes they did. Because uh, when you came into this place the first time, you could check, like, your stats and all that stuff, like, your records and all that. I don't exactly know how you're supposed to get the moon coins in this game. Um, like, I don't even know if it's possible to get the moon coins in this game at all. And over here, if you go to this little Nintendo Switch thing, um, you can see that, like the handheld, you can see there's, you can activate the credits, which plays like the more quieter version of the credits theme. I didn't really stick around for that for very long because my camera battery was about to die and also because I was kind of getting tired. So, anyways, that being said, um, that's basically like the end of this video. So yeah, we're just going to launch our way to Superstar Road, and in the next video we will record that world. So yeah, I'm just going to go on in, activate the little cutscene, even though there really wasn't much of a cutscene, but yep. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the finale of New Super Luigi U.